Hi everybody, happy Monday. It's Jeff and Nikki from Nightshade Nook Decor. We are getting ready to flood coat, seal coat. These, these haven't been coated yet, right? Nope. So we are seal coating some coasters. And Jeff just got notified that we're live. Or maybe we're here to do a body cavity search. Right? Those are some <laughs> sketchy looking gloves. <laughs> Those look super thick, too, and they're, you, they're darker than the normal blue ones. You decide. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four sets of coasters that we are seal coating tonight and two that need an extra coat. Two little random coasters. So it is crunch time again prior to a festival <laughs> when you probably see us do coasters the most. We've got some cutting boards that need to be oiled. We've got some flights, some beer flights that need to be oiled and have some handles put on. We've, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So the Zarpentine Fall Festival is this weekend. It is out in Hilton. And I'm echoing in here. Did you notice that? Yes. Yeah, Probably because usually the, the AC's on. Oh, well, yeah. I turned it off. It was really cold in here. I believe that because it's only like, it feels like it's like getting to be about 60 out. Yeah, it was it was much hotter earlier. Um, it was actually like 50 degrees out here this morning, but this afternoon it started getting warm, so I turned on the AC for a while, and then after the sun, you know, probably around 5 o'clock, I realized, man, it's getting cold in here, so I turned it off. This is the time of year when I'm going to be running the air conditioning in the daytime and running the stove at night. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. Yeah, I probably should have lit the stove last night. Uh, so, sorry we missed you guys live on Friday. Um, that was that was COVID vaccination number two. I was unconscious. <laughs> That's how that went. So, I'm not sure. I think Jeff did these coasters when I was... Well, the sunset ones are the ones he's pouring stuff on right now. I'm excited about those. I can't wait to see how those turned out. I think they're going to be amazing. Yeah, they got some pretty nice colors. Though. And it looks like those looks like that's a buffalo blue, buffalo bill blue. Yeah. 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 And the white ones are white pearl. What? So what's what's the blue color? Is it? Um. You know. <laughs> I know that's poison apple green that you're just pouring on, and I think these are. I want to say it was um, it was Pacific Blue. I think you're right. It was Pacific Pacific Blue, and we have the White Pearl by My Spring Coasters, and then I'm not sure what you used for those. Those. These these are going to be Pittsburgh Steelers coasters, and it was Yellow Submarine and Carbon Black. Alrighty. Not charcoal black. Yeah, charcoal black. I'm sorry. So you mix some wise bond and some my spring. Yeah, that's what I did. Alrighty. <sighs> yeah, I don't have the gift of babble. <laughs> well, because I'm, I'm still, I still feel kind of <clears throat> blur and run down. Oh, did you carve that last berries coaster for me? No. Yeah, it's too bad. I could have built those too. Yeah, sorry. I did not. I got you some signs. So what kind of wood is this? Um, In your hand now. We'll go one by oh one. Oh boy. Um... I feel like you said they were oak, mm -hmm. but the grain looks a little wider. Oh, you know what? It is oak. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's oak, yeah. So that's maple then with the white. Yes, that's maple. And that's maple with the blue. Yes, that's Yeah, it's maple. maple with the sunset. No, it's, um, Not I believe oak. that's oak. Is it really? Yeah, I believe it It doesn't is. look very oaky to me. Yeah, it's oak. All righty. Pretty sure it is. Uh, so this is the white pearl with uh, maple live edge slab, 
and these are going to have um, Bill's Buffalo Bill's emblems on them so we're going to take some Buffalo Bill coasters to the festival that and I think Jeff just really likes making Bill's things because he's a Bill's fan <laughs> I like that Pacific blue I remember yeah. when we were first trying to do that um that Buffalo blue Buffalo Bill's blue mm -hmm. We like mix this and mix that and then edit other things to get it back to where we wanted to be. <laughs> right. We probably could have just gone with Pacific Blue. Yes. Now we know. Now we know. So those sunset coasters turned out pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty neat. They aren't quite as beautiful as the sunset. Well, they're different. I shouldn't say that. They're, they're a very, different kind of pretty. They're very similar to the um, the sunset cheese boards. So you can still see in the tops of them, there's a little bit of purple in there, some wine red. There's orange and yellowish tints in there. I like our sunset stuff. We didn't do any more wall art. No. Well, we yeah, we do that one that you're, you're leaning on. Well, yeah, but that doesn't really count because that I just kind of messed up. So you well, just did another coat on it. I don't think we sold any at the... Um... At the last festival, so we still have everything that we took to the other one. Yeah, I don't remember. I should probably put them on the website. I haven't done that. Oh, yeah, you should. Because, yeah, I don't think we sold any of those. Well, part of me didn't because, I don't know, because it's, it's time-consuming. <laughs> it takes a lot of time to add things to the website. I have to take all the pictures of them, and then I have to upload all the pictures. And now I'm going to start watermarking the pictures after talking to someone. I think and that's they a good have to idea. Be approved, right? No, I'm the one who approves things on our uh, website. Oh, it's just on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if I'm disapproving our stuff on <laughs> on our website, there's there's something really wrong. Right. <clears throat> That'd be funny though. <laughs> I could see you doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sending that back. Yeah. I'm never going to send anything back that I started posting on the website because it means I have to redo whatever it is that I did. It means there's something wrong with the picture or something. I will put things up with a picture that I'm not thrilled with and then go back later and update the picture. So, I mean, if you want to count that as my disapproval, my rejected I post. No, and Etsy... Etsy's been good about our stuff. It's really Facebook is Screwy. is the pain, yeah. And I really just kind of want to take down our Facebook shop because we don't sell anything on our Facebook shop. We sell on Etsy. We sell during our Facebook Lives. And we sell from our website. I don't know that we've had a sale on our Facebook shop in like a year. I was going to say, I don't think we've sold a single thing on Facebook, have we? I think we've sold one thing on our Facebook shop, and that was like last... October or November. Wow. So really, they they I get a hassle about Everything. our stuff, and nothing ever really sells on there. So right. it's just kind of a waste. It's not worth the effort. It's not, and now it's synced to our website. But the problem is, we have so many custom order options on our website for like cutting boards, coasters, wreaths, wall decor, that. Facebook doesn't like our custom yeah, features, and they then they complain like, about that. They just want random products, huh? Right, and then they add the price of the deposit because we require a 50% deposit on our products when it's custom orders. So Facebook then takes our deposit and puts that as the cost, oh, so which is incorrect. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's just because I linked it to our website because I got sick of uploading things to facebook so it's like in the feed but i should probably just disconnect the feed and i don't know how to close down our facebook shop <laughs> well because everything if you want to do something on facebook you have to read like two pages of things <laughs> of rules well of how to's mm -hmm. and it's just i don't have that kind of patience i just don't want to that's when I'm like, hmm, this is why small businesses are like sending their products and stuff to web developers to upload because they don't want to have to deal with all the stuff. 
but we're never going to do that. Because then I will reject things. <laughs> so what do you think? You happy with how the coasters turned out? See, that one's got a lot of orange. I like that one. Yeah, it's got some purple, too. They're all a little different. That is what I like about our coasters is not only are our coaster sets different and unique, our individual coasters within the sets are not cookie cutter in the same. And I think that's what makes us stand out. Who do we got with us tonight? Anybody? I don't know. There were a couple people in there. I didn't really recognize one. Actually, I think one, I saw the Facebook profile, and it looked like uh, that gentleman you were speaking with about the railing. Oh, I can't remember his name. I Michael? can't remember his name either. I think his name was Michael. Could be. And Jeff has almost finished the uh, beach wave table that's supposed to get delivered this week. He just has a stand off the bottom and a attach the legs and then that is done and good to go right yeah pretty much just waiting for it to cure i feel like my voice sounds kind of raspy i know mine too you've got my covid vaccine sickness <laughs> sympathy symptoms huh <laughs> yes my sinuses have been kicking all day and I've been in here sanding all day, so that didn't help. No, and it was a weird weather day. I don't like it when it's like super hot during the day and then it gets cold at night. I just want fall to be here in full. But this weekend's supposed to be very nice and very cool. It's supposed to be like 71 on Saturday and like in the 60s on Sunday. I'll take it. So it is the perfect fall weather to For a go fall out. Fall festival. Yes, to go out to the Zarpentine Fall Festival. Get yourself some pumpkins. Get some apples. Get some fry cakes. Get you some. Come out and visit us. There's going to be a ton of vendors out there and food trucks. Come out and get you some. It's just a good family fun day. Fall family fun day. Come get some of them delicious. Serpentine apple fritters. Oh my god, those are so good. I know. And you know what? We're never going to be able to get any of those on Saturday. Because we'll be too busy, huh? No, because there's going to be a line. Mm. We have to... We should, when we go to set up Friday... We should get some? We should get some. I should check and see what time they close. I need to, I need to call that lady. We need somebody to come out and visit us and bring us some apple fritters. <laughs> Has someone be our runner? Yeah. <sighs> I think Tay is not working on Saturday. No way. I think she is free. I don't know. I have to message her because we need pup care too for oh, Saturday and yeah, Sunday. Right. So the festival is both days, Saturday and Sunday. And then the following weekend is the Blue Barn Cidery Festival. We're not doing that, are we? No, because you told me you did not want me to book this. Right. Oh, my gosh. All right, I need to let Clancy out because he's going insane, and he just knocked over a bunch of signs. Come on, Clancy. Clancy, 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 Clancy. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Goodbye, Clance. So here are some signs that I carved today that Clancy just knocked over. So sorry, guys. All because... He hears our neighbor's dog, Zeke, just being Zeke. So those still need to be, get painted. There are some other signs. There. Now they've seen the fridge that you airbrushed. <laughs> hey, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think if you were going to test the airbrush on the fridge that you should have done like a design. I was just... Actually, I was just cleaning the airbrush and making sure that I had blown all the paint out of it. Now I kind of want to airbrush the fridge that's out here and make it all pretty. Yeah, see how he ignores me? He just ignores me on that. Just... So now he is just relieving the surface tension on the, um, on the coasters. 
he has gone around and made sure that the coasters are completely covered in the Wise Bond tabletop epoxy. And then once he's done doing that, he's just going to go over them with the torch and remove any of the air bubbles. And then those coasters will sit there until tomorrow when he does the second coat, which is the flood coat, which he'll do without us. And then they'll have to cure for a few until, days. Until the festival. Until the festival. Yeah, you're going to have a very busy week. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I am. Stupid crazy. And it's hard prepping for a festival. We were talking about that today. It's hard to know what to bring, how much to bring. Because you just, you just don't know. You have no idea how many people are going to be there. You have no idea if people are going to buy your stuff, not buy your stuff. Like at Barry's, we didn't sell out, but we sold... A good portion yeah. of our stuff but this is a two-day festival which as you know Barry's old school Irish festival was our first festival so this is our second festival which is a two days so I I feel like we have too much and I feel like we don't have enough I am on both sides of the fence on this well we have what we have so and we've tried, you know, we've got coasters, we've got cutting boards, we've got beer flights, we've got wall art, we've got wall decor signs, we've got porch sitting signs. We've even got a coffee table and a coffee table and an end table. So I mean, we've got a good, oh, and we have centerpieces and we have wreaths. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff. Got it going on. And it's a good mixture of stuff. We've got like everyday stuff. We've got Halloween stuff. We've got fall stuff. Yeah, we've got some Christmas. We stuff. even have some Christmas stuff. We even have Peaky Blinder signs. And we have Peaky Blinder signs. And we have Irish stuff. Mm -hmm. We've we've got stuff. We got our bases covered. We really do. We got a few holidays covered here. I feel like there's a little divot right there. Yeah. So I think it'll be good. I think if nothing else, we'll have fun. Yeah. No matter what, we always have fun. Well, at least we'll get to spend some time together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still see a divot. So if you are local to us, I would say definitely plan on coming out to the Fall Festival this weekend. It's going to be a gorgeous weekend. Even if you're like, eh, you know, I don't need to go shop at a Festival, blah, blah. Go get some fry cakes. Go get some pumpkins. I don't know if they have hay rides or not. Go get some of those delicious apple fritters. Yeah. Actually, don't go get some apple fritters because that way the line will be shorter and I'll be able to get my apple fritters. So... Go get some apple fritters and get us some apple fritters right. and then stop by our booth and we'll pay you for our apple fritters. Right. <laughs> right. That's how it works. Yes. <laughs> sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan indeed. Yeah. And our wood guy is going to be out there. That's right. Our sawmill partner, Tom, is going to be out there. Which I'm super excited. I never get to see Tom not all sawmilly. I know. We only see him at the mill. We never see him socially. socially. <laughs> so yes. So it'll be fun. And just because you follow us doesn't mean that we expect you guys to buy stuff. You can just pop in and be like, hi, I follow you on Facebook. So yeah. nice to see you guys. Because we love chit-chatting with people. Jeff is chatty in person. Not really. Y you are. You, you just like to think I am. You're chattier than I am in person. We'll see about that. All right. Well, then you can come and watch Jeff be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to charge all of our... Um, Charging devices? Yeah. There's so much to charge to do a festival. It's insane.
Yeah. How's everything look? I think it looks nice. I think there's quite an assortment of colors going on there, and I like it. <laughs> Get a better look at those sunset coasters. Because I have a feeling I'm never going to see them again after this weekend. Yeah, I would say they might disappear this weekend. They're pretty sharp. They are very sharp. And I like the way you poured them like, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to wing it. But I think the way you did it was really, really good. It was a good idea. You did well, my dear. Mm -hmm. I like them. So that's the coaster that has the abnormality. Can you tell? Can you see it? No. Good. He's doing this just to test me. So the only way we know is because it's facing a different direction. Interesting. <clears throat> nope. Looks good to me. Okay. So I think we're going to let you guys go tonight. We've got some signs to paint up. I think Jeff said he's waiting till Wednesday night. We're going to oil up some cutting boards. We have a nightshade nook green, black, no, maple, maple. cutting board. And a mermaid dust cutting board and three flights, three bear flights that we're going to oil up Wednesday night as well. And those are red cedar, right? Are they all three of them no, red cedar? two of them are cedar. Actually, here's the other one I think you still have in the I basement. still have another cedar one downstairs. So that one has to be carved, but here's a red cedar one. I believe this one's made from ash. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. So we'll oil them up and then he'll put little handles and feet on the bottom of them. They'll be adorable. And we sold the last one. Yeah, we did sell the one that we took to the um, Irish Festival. Yeah. So I think these are going to be a good deal, too. And it's, um, you know, we sell it with the glasses, too. We actually have some... Um, we have some Guinness yeah. uh, flight glasses. Yeah. I don't know what they call them. Like, they're like... Um, they're half pints. Yeah, what do they call them, though? Yeah, I don't remember what they're called. Aren't they just called half pints? No, there's just a kind of a name for the kind of glass they are. I don't know. Alrighty. But they're pretty cool. Oh, you I just, just kicked over them. the epoxy. No, it's the hardener, but I don't want it to spill out. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and share our videos. You guys have a great night, and we'll talk to you again on Wednesday.